Well, we're going to get more with dirt. If you remember last year, the only thing I had medicinal plants in was a little bit of dirt from where... Here, let me look at you. I'm going to show you something. So this is the air. It has grown back, which is that little bit of dirt. So I'm going to be pulling these up and saving them. I'm putting them on top of the dirt that we're getting ready. They're all. For those of you that are new, my husband's name is John, and we are Junkles. This is bed one, bed two, bed three, and down there, bed four. And we just of a clean up. But that'll all get done in time. <laughs> Looks like I plan on putting sunflowers and corn stalks between each of my beds. I think that'll be real pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six tubs here to do stuff with. So I have plenty of room to have a garden. Here, and a sissip. Uh oh, growing back. <laughs> it's not too much of an uh oh. I'm just gonna pull it up and plant it on top. Okay. Of the dirt. I got two of them. Yeah, I see that. So that'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah. It's a tough medicinal. I. I guess. Yeah, that's his. <laughs> so if we do get that four to six inches of snow, <laughs> that, like I said, that'll be good fertilizer. It'll be good nutrients.
I think so, don't you? Yeah. It'll bring it up to about the same height as that. properties of the anise hyssop just yet but since I planted them last year and they were the only thing that I could harvest I was gonna get them harvested and get them dried and then learn what I'm supposed to be doing with them <laughs> so that's what I did well you guys go out and enjoy life well today is the 10th it's the next day from when we put the dirt down and as promised, we are getting some snow. It is snowing pretty heavy. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll see if that four to eight inches reaches us. <laughs> I went through my seeds again. Those are the ones that I want to start by the end of March and end of April. And uh, some that I'm gonna start in May. I'm gonna direct sow those things. Got me some seed potatoes and went ahead and got me some onion sets. Just And then there's a few of my flowers that I still want to try to germinate. All right, now we're in the kitchen. These are the flowers I did the other day. Black button, or black boy button. Those are going to be so pretty. And look at there. <laughs> I got six of them. That's awesome. And look at here, you guys. <laughs> Whatever they are, those pretty short flowers. I got a different color. I got purple and the green in there. So who knows what those are going to end up being. Don't have anything on the poppy or the uh, celosa, the Chinese wool flower. All right, let's take a look at this bottom one. And it's the very first ones that we planted. <laughs> All kinds of good stuff in here. Now they are kind of blaggy. And that's okay. Because I still have time if I just want to trash these and start again. But I've been setting them outside and taking the lid off since they're germinated. And they've been blowing in the wind and different things like that. So I don't know. I think they'll be okay. The corn beads are the only thing that hasn't popped up yet. But it had a 7 to 14 day germination. So as I try to get used to this new phone of mine, <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting for my car to unthaw. I did manage to get the driver's side door open. So now I got to work on the other three so that my little kids can get in when I go pick them up out in the country. So we'll see how it goes. I did sweep. I probably swept about six inches of snow off of the windshield and such. But it looks pretty good outside, really. I mean, the the streets are well-maintained on my street anyway, but we'll find out how the country roads look when I get out there. So I'm getting ready to go out and check the car again, and we'll see if I can get the other doors open. Did you guys get any of this storm? Okay, so I'm inside the car, and as you can see, the windshield is all cleared off. I have... I managed to get the doors open. They've still got some snow and a little bit icy on them. I'm working on that. So I'm going to take a trip out of the driveway and make sure that I can make it. Because as with any street, when they're doing the streets, the driveways get all packed up and <laughs> I remember one time I mean it one year it just snowed and snowed and snowed and four or five six times a day for days they were doing that with salt and it would just slush up and we had a wall I bet three foot high 
of just solid ice because it was slush when they would scrape it because of the salt and then it would just refreeze. And uh, John had a really hard time uh, breaking that down and just to get us out of the driveway. So at least it's not that way today. I do have four wheel drive and I have used it a time or two on the country road. So I'm familiar with how that all feels and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna take a drive around the block and then it'll be time to go.